If you saw my previous tutorial, you would have seen the C Sharp code for how we can use a precondition while loop as the outer loop and a set of uh, iterations of a nested for loop that's going to sort an integer array into ascending order. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to look at the code for doing the exact same thing, but instead of a precondition while loop, we're going to use a postcondition do while loop. So if we look at the do while loop, it starts do and ends while followed by the condition. So we're guaranteed that the lines of code from line 19 to line 32 will run at least once. That's the key difference between a while loop and a do while loop. Precondition, the condition is evaluated before the code inside the loop is run, so potentially that code never runs. Um, but a post condition do while loop, the code inside will run once before the condition is evaluated. Now we've still got similar things in this compared with the while option. We've got a flag variable that at the start of the outer controlled loop that's placing the bubble, we're going to set our flag to true. And basically the loop is going to run so long as that flag is false. So we've got our for loop that runs through each adjacent pair in the um, array. It's just that the numbers of adjacent pairs is going to be shortened with this num to sort um, variable. So the list of unsorted items gets smaller every time we go back out to the outer loop. And it's going to get smaller because at line 32, we actually reduce the number of unsorted items by one each time. Now the if statement inside the for loop compares the adjacent values, does a swap if the value in the lower element or index is higher than the value in the next index, and then sets the flag to false. So if we've made a swap, there is a chance that there are other iterations of this for loop that will also make a swap. In other words, the array may still be unsorted. So that's why when we set is sorted to false here, it's going to match the condition here. The idea being, like it was in the precondition while loop, if we come up here in the, the top of a outer loop, we set the flag to true. If this for loops runs and no swaps were needed to be made, is sorted is going to still be true, meaning we've got a fully sorted array, when we come across the condition here. And if this sorted is true, our do while loop ends.